Chiefs need to finish off the preseason with a solid game plan, and I'm going to go over it right now. Welcome back to RGR Football. I'm Ryan and I'm going rogue. And I just wanted to get started. This is kind of like a trial run for me. Uh, much like the Chiefs are going into the third preseason game and that's a trial run for them. They've been practicing uh, as though they were gonna play a regular season game all week. It's, it's a dress rehearsal basically. And I'm doing the same thing. If you missed Therese Paler and his weekly videos about what needs to happen the next week, I got you covered. I'm gonna do a game plan video every week this season. You can find out what they need to do in order to get the win right here. Now, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notifications. Uh, leave your comments, and I want to know what you guys think or what you want to see in these videos as they come down the line. Uh, these are going to be pretty short. Um, today's, I don't even know how long it's been, three or four minutes is about it. So, first and foremost, what do they need to do? Continue along their path, yes, with Patrick Mahomes, of course. Uh, two things on offense. They need to get Sammy Watkins involved, and he's got to be successful. He's had the best week of practice he's had since he became a chief, according to him. So I think that's a good thing. If he can finish off the little details, make good catches, and get things done on the field, he's going to get roughly a half and maybe a drive or two is my guess. Uh, that's a good thing for this offense. It's been all Tyreek to this point. We've got to get Sammy involved so he's ready for week one against the Chargers. Also on offense, they have this guy, and that's great. But he's not the only one, and they're not going to have Demetrius Harris come week one because he's suspended. So the next question is, who's going to be the backup tight end week one? And I think it's it's a competition, obviously, but Jay Samaro, Ellis, we'll see who else gets into it. But those two in particular, I want to see them get some work with the first team offense because they're going to be playing with them come week one. Uh, and he's not going to go away from his double tight end sets, and we might even see some triple depending on who remains on the roster. So. That's going to be an interesting scenario. I want to see Alex Ellis take it. Uh, I think he's got some wiggle, and I think I've talked to you guys about that, or definitely on the podcast. If you haven't checked out Locked On Chiefs podcast, it's in the show notes and up in the cards. Now, on defense, they got a couple of things they got to accomplish, too. Orlando Skandrick has joined the team. He needs to get involved. Uh, day one, he stepped in and started repping with the ones, with Steven Nelson still out with the concussion. So he's not going to be available. And that's really the scenario that he's brought in for when there's an injury in that top three. Um, so Skandrick's got to get on the field, get used to the scheme, get the calls through his head, and be quick to develop that. Also, Smith's going to come in right behind him. And I think Tremont Smith is, is a guy that sees a lot of opportunity there, and he should. Uh, he's got the athleticism, and I think he's got the knack. We want to see him perform. If he can make a big play in this third preseason game, he's going to give Skandrick some run for his money. Uh, and being four deep at that position, I think, is what the goal is for this team. They're going to need to run some dime with some corners. I think that's really important. You're going to see Hitchens and Raglan want to see them stop the run like they've been talking about the last couple weeks. If they can do that, great. The, the, the Bears aren't a great running team to begin with, uh, and they're particularly susceptible in the A-gap between Whitehair, who's starting at center and is having a little bit of trouble, uh, and their guy at left guard, whose name we're not even going to go there yet because I don't think they know who've won their left guard spot, much like the Chiefs. So look for Chris Jones to have a day. Look for the inside linebackers to get some blitz in the A-gaps. Uh, I hope we see that a bit because they need to practice that. They're going to have to be stalwarts against the run. Those are the big things. If you want to see something else or you have something else you think they need to do, you let me know. Uh, players who stand out, I'm looking for a couple of maybes to make this team. Jay Chesson's got to do something. Uh, if you have a guy you want to see, let me know in the comments. Get them all down below. Make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you after the game.